Today we're in the Song of Solomon chapter 4 and you know Solomon's known as the wisest man who ever lived. I'm kind of wondering about that because in the story and in the message of Solomon he has over 700 wives. In chapter 4 he describes I think the wedding night of one of these wives. I'm not sure which one it is but it's kind of PG-13. He praising her for her beauty. He talks about her hair. He talks about her eyes. He talks about her teeth. He talks about her neck. He talks about just all the beauty that she has. In fact, listen to what it says. I just read a couple of verses for you. How fair is your love, my sister, my spouse. How much better than wine is your love and the scent of your perfumes and all spices. Your lips, oh my spouse, drip like a honeycomb. Honey and milk are under your tongue, and the fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. He just begins to describe the beauty and the intimacy that he desires to have with his new bride. It's a great passage of scripture, a very romantic passage of scripture that Solomon's describing his bride on his wedding night. And you know, it, it's an interesting that Charles Spurgeon, the guy who's known as the Prince of preachers would, would take this passage and he would say that um, as Solomon saw the, the beauty in his wife, uh, we, we see the beauty in Christ. But at the same time, Christ sees the beauty in us that reflects him and that's what he's after. See, we've been created by him and then fallen and saved by him and then he recreates us and makes us into new creatures. And when he looks at us, we're his bride. And he wants to see his beauty in us, his grace, his mercy, his love, his kindness, all the different things that make up who Christ is become reflected in us. And this chapter, chapter four of the Song of Solomon can, can cause us to think about that. Are we beautiful in God's sight? Are we reflecting his love, his mercy, and his grace? See, one day we will sit down with him at the marriage supper of the Lamb and we'll celebrate our marriage to him in a way that we're now finally completely his forever and ever and ever. And as we head there, and it might be sooner than you think, he wants to create within us that passage, how you know old things pass away and all things become new. He wants to reflect his love, his grace, his mercy, his kindness, his peace, all those different attributes he wants to see like Solomon saw in his bride, that beauty, God wants to see in you and I, the beauty of Jesus Christ demonstrated through our lives. Not just the external beauty like Solomon did, but that which comes from the heart, a heart that's been regenerated by the love and the beauty of Jesus Christ.